Hi, I'm Bob Hoagland, Senior Faculty Member for the William Glasser Institute and President of Bob Hoagland Incorporated. The following clip was filmed at Loyola Marymount University in 2007. This is one of a series of clips to introduce a choice theory or reality therapy concept or application. For more information, please visit my website, bobhoagland.com, where you can sign up for monthly thoughts, tips, and quotes, find out about training opportunities, download some podcasts or articles, or find out other valuable information. Just very quickly, we've called it a picture album, we've called it the ideal world, we've called it the quality world. But it's how we want our lives to be. It's the people in there, the activities, the beliefs. Well, who do we put in our quality world? People that we connect with. If you don't connect with a teacher, what does the kid say? If the kid comes to school and says, my teacher doesn't like me, my teacher's mean. What if the teacher comes to school and says, my principal doesn't like me, my principal's mean, they're unfair. Well, how does that then translate to the classroom? The pictures are positive. We want to have a good classroom. Why do we get frustrated in a classroom? Because in our quality world, the kids are learning. In the real world, they may not be. And of course, who do we blame? We don't look at our instruction. We immediately say it's the kids at fault. It's not necessarily what they're learning. It's they're not learning. So again, the responsibility piece of setting this up goes back to the adults in the school. They're there because they made a choice to be there. They signed a contract to be there. The kids don't have to be there for any other reason than it's the law. It's our job to sell them. And that's another way that we help to create happiness in a school. And here's where the pictures can conflict with other pictures. One of my favorite examples, I mean, you're sitting here at nighttime. You can say, you know what, I love this choice theory. I love getting to see Dr. Glasser every week. I get to see Carlene every week. I love Brad. This is just a wonderful place. But you also say, you know what, I've got families. I've got friends. It would be nice to be with them, too. We're talking about prioritizing pictures sometimes. We know there are kids out there who say, I want to be smart and I want to have friends, and they see them as mutually exclusive. So our job is to help them understand how to balance, how to make choices, and how to fit in in those conditions. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy the clip.